Hello everyone, and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an automated sugarcane farm in Minecraft 1.11. So this has now been improved with a new observer block, making it even more simple and compact. One of the cons about this build is that sometimes the sugarcane does fly out, but that is on very rare occasions, so you don't need to worry about that. Plus, from the amount that you're going to get in total, that'll be so little. Now in a short amount of time this won't actually make too much, but in the long term it'll make a lot if you just leave it running and kind of forget about it, then you'll probably have a whole chest full. So what are the resources needed? Well, if you have a look in this chest, you obviously need to include the chest itself as well, but you will be needing one observer block, three redstone, two redstone repeaters, three hoppers, two pistons, two slabs, a block of your choice doesn't actually have to be a stack of blocks. Two glass, two sand, a sugar cane, because obviously you need to plant the first one, and some water. So first you want to place two hoppers like this, and one hopper here. Next you want to place two blocks up like this, and a piston like this. Then you want to build out like this, and place an observer here. Next you want to remove this block, place blocks around it, place wood here and sand here. Then obviously just place the sugar cane down. So then you want to have two blocks come out of here, deleting the first block, put a redstone repeater here, a block there, redstone here, and then upside down slab here, with redstone going across all the way over to the piston. Make sure this is a full block though. So as you can see, if we now place the sugar cane here, it will detect it, and then obviously do that. But the problem is, it will go infinitely. So what we want to do is replace this bit here with a piston and some sand, and replace this with a repeater. So now, when you place sugarcane down, it takes it and flings it out. But we need to encase this so that doesn't fling out too much. So what you want to do is just cover this entire front bit in the block of your choice. And if you want to be a little bit fancy, maybe just put a bit of glass there. And then obviously cover this all up just so you can hide the redstone and cover this all up back here so the uh, sugarcane doesn't go flinging out because otherwise we'll lose a lot of sugarcane which we do not want at all. So obviously we also want to cover up around here and around the redstone down here just so it doesn't fling out the sides either. One thing I forgot to say is that this block up here needs to be a solid block, otherwise the sugar cane will just land on that sand down there. So what you could actually do is extend this a little bit further. So as you can see here, we just have the redstone going all across multiple pistons, which hit the sugar cane, which is growing here, and a long row of water, with the observer only covering the first block. So as soon as one grows there, all of these get destroyed and put in the hoppers down here. So this extension won't take too much more resources, all you need is more pistons, more redstone, more sand, and more water. And also more sugar canes. So as shown at the beginning of the video, this is a very cut down version of the contraption as you can see. So if I just hover all the way around, you can see that it's really a tiny contraption. So if I set the random tick seed to something like a thousand, as you can see with the sugar cane, it is growing and then gets hit, and as you can see in the chest, it will be entering the chest any minute. Now there we go, as you can see it's gone to 49. So that's about it for this video, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, this is your moment to shine in five seconds, describe your channel. Go subscribe to me, that's a HD, woo! Not even gonna describe what you said, what you usually do, but okay. I do vlogs.